Hello everyone, Ecotech here and in this video I'll give you an update on the automated microgreen project. So you can see that a lot of microgreens are growing in this rack. The sunflowers look terrible. The reason being is that I have closed this entire tent and not opened it for the past week. And uh, well, I should have harvested this before then, but for the past week, I've been too busy with other things. And uh, the good side of that was that I got to run the system without doing anything and see how it handled it. And good news, everything ran smoothly. The lights turned on and turned off at the right time. The watering happened every day when it needed. The uh, automated fan, also got turned on when needed the humidity was constant the air filter was always running so everything is running very smoothly and i'm really excited about that because if we look at the previous uh so this was my first prototype of the controller where you can see that there's a lot of outlets and basically my google calendar controls these outlets and I'm able to tell it turn the fan on and this fan turns on or turn these 12 volt fan on per shelf and they would turn on or turn the lights like basically control everything in this tent now it worked however it would crash every now and then I'd say on average three to four times a week and I had to just come in the tent and unplug it and replug it and it would fix everything and I was looking through the code trying to figure out what my coding mistake was and I couldn't find it. And then I've recently installed the version two of this controller, just changing the hardware, not the software, and everything has been running smoothly since. So probably loose connection or some noise, like electrical noise was making uh, the, the, uh, the system crash from time to time. But for the past week, everything has been running smoothly and my drains uh, weren't cl clogging up, the fill was rising well. Uh, the only downside is if we look at this wheat grass, you notice that uh, there's like a line here. Basically, uh, if we zoom here, you can see that these seeds pass the focus. Uh, they it, it dried up the the long story short is that this bed is not level and there's more watering here than in this corner So it died off. So I need to to find a way to level each shelf a bit better um, But yeah for those of you who have been asking me where can I buy these lights are these lights available? well, the the answer is that no, they're not currently available because I have not went through certification so these lights are currently being tested in this system and I'm in communication with experts, local experts, to know what type of engineering tests uh, and need to, they need to go through. I need to send them to a certified organism so that they test it and make sure everything checks out and I'm able to sell them. And before I engage in all these expenses, I still want to test them. So all the first samples that I've built um, will be used for, for my own farm and that's right look forward to me uh, building my own microgreen farm and expanding upcoming in the, in the next videos I'll talk more about that but yeah the samples that I have on hand will be for my own use to validate and make tweaks for the potential next revision that I will then certify and will be out for sale for you guys if you want to and among these tests is uh, far red light. So I have these far red LEDs. I want to throw them on in my controlled environment and see how the microgreens like it and see if it's worth it to, to add some uh, far red bars in between as an option with uh, these lights. I have been really excited when I entered and saw that my peppers are red. Look at these two red peppers. And someone in the comments were, was asking for a strawberry update. And uh, I'm pleased to say that I have strawberries, if you see here. And uh, there, there's like three there. And I think, yeah, there's another one here. And there's some in this bushing. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't look so good. And I think it's because I haven't been... Um, Paying attention to, whoa, wow, well that's that, that shows what's going on. The, uh, I've not been paying attention to the roots and uh, the water in there. So the pH probably went all over the place. And when I rewater, I'm using the crack heath method, but I'm refilling, which kills some of the roots. So I think this is why it's not going so well. On the other side, the peppers seem to really handle this better. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And the other thing is that this shows that my lights are able to provide enough um, 
well light for my peppers and my strawberries and I've actually had to dim down these LEDs because at some point these um, uh, leaves were starting to burn because it was too much light so really excited to see that I can either put more or less bars for um, to get an even spread of the light or I can add more bars with higher intensity for bigger crops and the uh, you don't need to order a special light for your high power crops or uh, another one for your low power microgreens this is really really good news and yeah my uh, lettuce is growing fine down there and I've actually planted over there I think this is catnip so my cat has been enjoying the wheatgrass quite a bit and we'll see what he thinks of the catnip uh, since the last video, I've also, if we come down here, installed a reverse osmosis um, filter for my water to make sure that I get a consistent uh, nutrient supply to the plants and that really everything is consistent. And when I play with the light, I know that the, the change in the crops is either due to the seeds or due to my setup. And to know if it's due to the seeds, I'll basically just run um, different setups between the shelves with the same seeds and I'll be able to, to just see the differences. So yeah, really happy about this, uh, this uh, hydrologic reverse osmosis filter. My watering is done manually, so I fill these buckets and then I have the pumps running, the filters and whatnot. And uh, the water coming out of my tap is 100 ppm and after it goes through this filter, it goes down to, to zero and with the flora bloom series i can add the nutrients as as uh, as desired so in the next video i'll either go over this reverse osmosis filter or through uh the different hemp that i've tested so i'm growing in hemp i'm not growing in soil this one is soil because i was running an experiment and actually threw soil around to see if it would clog my system and it i'm happy to say that so far it has not and i'll be more aggressive to just validate that but yeah so in the next video either i can talk about the different hemps that i've tested my observations and how to get the most cost effective hemp by using a tool like this uh, paper cutter which and ordering in bulk i've actually found that to be really nice so please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you want to either see the reverse osmosis or the hemp uh, process as my next video thanks for watching take care bye